I don't think even Hyundai or Kia could have foreseen the incredible success they're having with their large three-row SUVs, the Palisade and Telluride. Both are sales superstars. And now for its first freshening, the Palisade receives even more luxury features while retaining its very attractive price point. The Palisade is offered in five trim levels in either front or all-wheel drive with a starting MSRP of $36,545. In its second model year, Hyundai introduced the luxurious calligraphy trim, and that's the Palisade I'm driving this week, bursting with every goodie the company stocks. The reason the Palisade is so successful is because it feels much more expensive than it actually is. So how does Hyundai sell this calligraphy trim for only $52,000? They smartly know where to spend the money. Seating, electronics, touch points, they're all playing in a much higher league. But the drive itself, something most Palisade owners won't prioritize, isn't nearly as lofty. It's okay. Now, Hyundai's secret sauce has long since been to load their vehicles with high-end features and price them low, and this is the best example of that yet. The Palisade calligraphy hits the high notes in terms of comfort and convenience features, some not even found on SUVs with luxury marquees, like remote smart parking assist, which is new for 2023. Hyundai is concentrated on creating wow moments like this to emphasize the Palisade's bargain pricing, and it works. Since the pair's introduction, the Telluride's more butch styling has given it a visual advantage, but the Palisade's new front end is greatly enhanced by a chiseled, wider, more rugged grille and vertical lighting structure. Other nips and tucks to the profile and rear body further its attractiveness. The original styling was a little overeager, while this one exudes an elegant confidence. The new 20-inch wheel design progresses that narrative. Highlighting the Palisade Calligraphy's new features is a larger infotainment touchscreen, a rear-view camera mirror, enhanced USB-C ports, and quicker wireless device charging. The phone as a key application now includes iPhone in addition to Android. There's improved voice control, a Wi-Fi hotspot, a new gauge cluster and electronics interface, a massaging driver's seat, heated third row seats, and a more advanced version of Highway Driving Assist 2, now with lane change assistance. And when you draw a calligraphy, there are soft Napa leather seats, heated and cooled first and second row seats, 64 colors of ambient cabin lighting, driver's seat bolsters that automatically adjust depending upon speed and drive mode, and touch type temperature controls. The feeling of being in a high-priced SUV is convincing and prescient. The rear seats in the Palisade are very comfortable. They're wide, supportive, upholstered in soft leather. Of course, they slide fore and aft and also recline. They've got armrests that ratchet on the sides, kind of like a Land Rover, so they stop in various stages. The seats are heated and cooled. You've got your own climate control settings, different plugs down here, USB ports built into the backrests. There are sunshades on these hazy looking windows. That's because they are acoustically laminated to knock down the sound. You've got your own sunroof, a beautiful headliner. What more could you want? Eight passenger seating is only available on the lowest two trims. So this one has second row captain's chairs for accommodating a maximum of seven. Accessing those farthest back seats is super easy too, with multiple one-touch activation points on the captain's chairs to contort them out of the way. Without lifting a finger or kicking a foot, the Palisade's rear hatch opens simply on approach. The cargo area is not only generously sized and widely cut, but both rows of rear seats can be electronically controlled for easy configurations. There's no need to slide the second row forward either. There's enough room regardless. No one does the electronics user interface better than Hyundai. Not only is it intuitive, but it's so smart. For instance, the head-up display integrates your smartphone's mapping into the windshield projection. Most OEMs don't do this. The only aspect that Hyundai continues to get wrong is the absence of wireless phone projection on their highest level navigation units. 
So even though there's a wireless charge pad, what's the point if you still need to connect via a cable? In order to keep the Palisades price so surprisingly low, Hyundai has had to skirt some expenses, and that's most evident in the drive itself. The 3.8 liter V6 carries over unchanged, and though its output of 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque is adequate, the same luxurious lacquer applied to the rest of the vehicle is somewhat missing here. With elevated expectations induced by the Palisades grandeur, life behind the wheel seems middling. Aggressive gearing and a touchy accelerator pedal can make for clumsy takeoffs. Depending upon the drive mode, for instance Smart, which automatically adjusts vehicle parameters to the driving style, the transmission sometimes stutters as if it's having a difficult time deciding which gear is best. And though the suspension includes a frequency sensing valve to reduce rough road impacts, driving the Palisade on gravel roads and dirt trails feels a little too brittle. A tow mode has been added to the numerous dial selections on the center console intended to optimize acceleration. It complements the standard trailer sway control and an auto leveling rear suspension. Capacity is maxed at 5,000 pounds. There is a sport mode, but it feels superfluous other than for holding the gears when on the back roads. So the drive and ride are okay. Perfectly acceptable, but unspectacular, though the cabin is very quiet. There are some heavy hitters in this segment, most notably the Toyota Highlander and Ford Explorer. But dollar for dollar, the Palisade can't be beat. A value play like only Hyundai can deliver. For TopSpeed.com, I'm Steve Hammes.